Hey guys, so today I'm doing a rocker inspired look. So I did a dramatic top lid and then a bright pop of fuchsia along the lower lash line. So if you want to see how to get this look, just keep watching and if you're wondering what's on my nails today, this is the look I have going today. So I did a pink nail with a coral, kind of pinky coral tip with fuchsia glitter over that tip. So the colors I used um, for the pink is Zoya Sweet. And then for the tip, I used, this is Zoya Maya. And then for the glitter over the tip, this is Zoya Astra. Okay, so let's get started with the tutorial. Okay, so I've just applied my concealer and foundation. For concealer, I use my Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer for any spots. And I have been using this under my eyes too, but today... I'm using my Bobbi Brown Creamy Concealer in Natural, which this was in one of my Project Minimalist videos, and I thought I was going to be getting rid of this, but I realized that I needed to keep this for those certain days where my under eyes are a little bit drier, because um, it does work better for dry under eyes um, compared to the Estee Lauder, uh, which is good most of the time, but I actually have to have both of these. Um, and then for foundation, I am testing out a new foundation. You guys know I love my Dior, Dior Skin Forever um, Powder Compact, but I'm also testing out this Dior foundation. This is just the regular Dior Skin Forever. Um, so this is in number 30. So I don't know. Um, I'm wearing it today for the first time, so I'm going to see how I like it and how it wears today. And then for brows, I use my favorite MAC Lingering Brow Pencil. And then I've already applied my eye primer, which I use Too Faced Shadow Insurance. Okay, so let me zoom in here. Okay, so I'm going to take my MAC 224 Fluffy Brush and MAC Brulee, and I'm just going to apply this all over my lid. And this is just going to act as a base because I've got dark colors that I'm going to be using today. And this is going to help keep it easy to blend. Now because I'm going to be using some dark colors, I do want to keep my inner corner light and bright. So I'm going to use my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. And this is just going to be my inner corner base. And I'm just going to blend this out so I have a nice thin layer. Next I'm going to take this Rimmel Glam Eyes eyeshadow, and this is in Glam Ice, and I'm going to take that on my e.l.f. defining brush, and it's just a shimmery white, so any shimmery white will do. And I'm going to place this directly over that NYX Milk. Okay, now I'm going to go in with this Wet n Wild eyeshadow trio, and this is in Spoiled Brat number 336. And so it has like a fuchsia, like a pink fuchsia and a black with sparkle and a silver. And I'm going to take the silver color with my same e.l.f. defining brush. And this is going to go all over the front part of the lid. And I'm going to take it about halfway, or just beyond halfway and blend into that white. Okay, now it's time to start creating some drama. So I'm going to take this sparkly black with my MAC 239 brush. I'm just going to lay this down right about the outer, well the whole outer portion of the eye we're going to do in black. But we just want to keep it under control. We don't want to get it everywhere. So I'm just patting this down right at my lash line. And we're going to start bringing it out, kind of in a cat eye shape. And we're going to bring it right up to that silver. And I'm going to start bringing it up onto my brow bone slightly, just above the crease. So you can already see how intense this black is. 
And I'm just going to kind of drag it inward and blend it in with that silver. So it's basically going to give you kind of a gunmetal color in between that silver and black. Okay, now that we have that kind of dramatic cat eye shape, I'm going to go in with MAC Brulee again and my Sony Kasha crease brush and we're going to soften this out. So I'm just going to hit right up top here on the brow bone and brush down and start blending out that line. Okay, now that we have the harsh lines blended out, we're ready to move on to our lower lash lines. So I'm going to take this fuchsia pink, and I'm going to take that on my small Essence of Beauty crease brush, and I'm going to run this all along my lower lash line. And at the outer corner, I'm actually going to blend up into this black just a little bit. So it kind of just is a smooth continuation. Okay, now it's looking a little crazy, but don't worry, we're going to pull this all together. So now I'm going to go back in with this sparkly black, and I'm going to take this on an e.l.f. small angle brush. And I'm going to press this in at my lower lash line, right at the lash roots. I'm going to go about halfway. Okay, now you'll have something that looks like this. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to lining my upper lash line. So I'm going to use my MAC Black Track Fluid Line on my MAC 208 Angled Liner Brush. I'm going to place this right in the middle. Uh, once I know I have a nice thin line, I'm going to move towards the inner corner. And as I get towards the outer portion of my eye, I'm going to be winging it up and out. I'm just going to line up with my lower lash line. Draw a little line there, and then I'm going to connect the lines. Okay, now for mascara, I'm using L'Oreal Voluminous in Carbon Black. Okay, now for lashes, I'm using Ardell, and these are 118s. And I picked these over my regular Wispies because they're a little bit longer, and I'm hoping maybe a little more dramatic, so we'll give these a shot. Okay, so eyes are done, so now I'm going to move on to face, so let me zoom out here. Okay, moving on to face, for contour I'm going to use Benefit Hula on my MAC 168 brush. So I really want sculpted features for this look. Really want to deepen up that contour, bring it up onto the temples, onto the forehead.
I'm just going to take this down the jawline. Onto the chin. And I also like to blend this down the neck a little. And then just a touch right under the nose. Okay, for a highlight, I'm using MAC Luster Drops in Pink Rebel. And I'm just going to take this on my finger. And just tap that on the tops of my cheekbones. Now I want to add a little extra highlight, so I'm going to take my Too Faced Pink Leopard and this is a bronzing powder they call it, but on me it's a highlight. And it's so cute, it looks like this. And I'm going to take this on um, this fluffy brush, it's like a eye powder fluff brush that came with a Costco brush set. And I'm just going to kind of dip into this lighter champagne color. And I'm just going to brush this right over that pink rebel highlight. I'm kind of taking it in a C motion. That's usually how I do my highlighting. Now for blush, I want to keep my face fairly muted. So I'm going to take Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush, and this is in Exposed. It's just a nice neutral and it has like a hint of rosiness but it's very subtle oh and I'm taking that on my MAC 129 brush Okay, now for lips, I'm going to use my Rimmel Lip Liner in East End Snob. And it's just a light pink. And then for lipstick, I'm using MAC Hue, which is one of my favorite nudes. It's like a pale pink nude. Okay, so here is our finished rocker look. So dark and dramatic on top with a nice bright pop of fuchsia along the lower lash line. And I really like like bright colors on the lower lash line when you're doing a dark lid. Um, it just really sets off a look nicely. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this look. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you soon.